Okay, here we go. He says, do you have any tips on being ghosted? I have lots of them. I need to find women who don't do this to me. This is a huge problem and I have no idea how to escape it. I'm stuck. Can you please help me? You are being ghosted because you are scaring them off. It's not the women that's the problem. It's you. And the reason that women ghost men is because they can't get the conversation to end and he doesn't get the hint. And so she has to stop talking to him and not respond because every time she responds, he lashes, latches onto it like a dog with a bone, like a starving animal. And he's like, oh, she's talk, talking to me. Oh, she must really like me. She must, I'm going to keep going. I can turn this around. I can do something. I can make this happen. I made a video this week and it's about the fallacy of trying to do something. And let me see, or this last week, and um, I'll put a link to it in this video in the comments below this video if I can remember to. Um, I usually like to schedule these videos out a little bit ahead of time, so when it comes out, I have to remember. Anyways, you don't care about that. You're getting ghosted because you're doing too much. You know, you should be talking to the woman in person and coming up with a, and essentially saying, hey, we should go hang out sometime, get some coffee sometime. And she says, yeah, that'd be great. And it's like, okay, well, let me have your number so that we can do that. And she's like, okay. And then you get on the phone and you say, hey, it was great seeing you at this place. When are you free? And then she tells you when she's free. And then you say, okay, great. I'll meet you here. That's the whole script. That's all you do. It's not that complicated. But what's happening here is you're talking to her too damn much on the phone. That's why guys get ghosted. They think that they need a romance and seduce the woman on the phone. And I even had a guy in the group talking about this earlier. Like you got to create attraction during the text messages and stuff. It's like, you don't, that's not what the phone's for. The phone, you can't romance a woman over the phone. You can get her a little bit anticipated and excited about meeting you, but you're not going to romance her over the phone. It takes way too much time and energy to do it. I guess I shouldn't say you can't do it. You can, because there have been instances in history where this has happened. Long, you know, pen pals, letters, and that kind of stuff. But, you know, it takes a lot, a lot of time and energy. Romance happens in person. You can take 15 months of correspondence and have it all done in a night. You know, you have an amazing night, go to three or four places because it's just going so well and you end up in her bed and then the next day you're like, that was awesome. You know, you can't do that over a text message, mainly because you have to be in person to have a physical relationship. So what's happening is you're trying to do this on the phone. You're trying to like get her to like you by trying to be clever on the phone. And if you watch your language, look at how your language looks because and how it's coming off because a lot of guys they see a lot of self-deprecating humor they put a lot of lols and smiley faces and all these things to try to like hey everything's cool i'm such a happy lucky guy and whatever and, but everything he's saying is do you still like me do you still like me do you still like me and it to her it only takes one or two of those texts where you're acting like hey do you still like me for her to get completely turned off because a woman doesn't want an insecure man when you're insecure, that is an incredible turnoff to her and she sees it through your language that you're using in your text and the tonality of your voice and the way you act and just everything about you just screams insecurity. That's why you've got to get secure in yourself and start learning to love yourself first or you're gonna have huge problems with dating. And it doesn't matter how much troubleshooting we do, until you solve that fundamental problem, it's never gonna happen for you. And I've had guys contact me. They're like, yeah, I can't seem to get a woman outside of a prostitute, you know, and it's been, I'm 40 something years old and no woman wants to be with me. And these guys are very angry and they're very resentful of women. They just hate women in general because they, they won't give them time and attention. It's because he won't work on his own security because he's looking for that kind of validation from her. If, if he feels that if, if a woman would just like me, then I would be a worthwhile man and that I would like myself. And that's a condition he placed on himself. That's not a condition that women did to him. He decided in his own mind that he sucks until a woman likes him. And then he can give himself permission to like himself. And that's the problem is he's put himself into a trap and he blames other people like this here. And I'm, I'm sorry to be so rough on you, but you're blaming women for your problem. And it's really you. Because your natural tendency, you are a man, you are biologically designed to attract women. Regardless of what your beliefs are about yourself, you're biologically designed to, to attract women. And you're probably a lot more attractive physically than you think, but women don't care so much about that physical attraction. They wanna see a secure man. You know, you can be the best looking dude in the world, 
You can be a male model and you could be ripped and, and all this stuff and be six foot five. And you walk up to her and you start talking to her and you're acting insecure. It doesn't matter what you look like. She's done. She's out of there. You know, you could be a not so handsome guy, but you move with grace and confidence and you're pretty damn sure of yourself. You got shit going on in your life. You're going to get some very beautiful women liking you because that's the main thing. She needs to see that security. She needs, you got to be a man worth following. But if you're blaming women for ghosting you, then you're not looking at yourself. You're not asking yourself, well, why is this happening to me? What is it that I'm doing that's creating this scenario? And most guys talk women out of liking them. That's just the reality of it. They do and say stupid shit to try to get validation from her. And they're not looking at themselves and are not being honest with themselves. They're not putting in the work. You got to put in the work consistently. You know, you got to be meditating every day. If you need to see a therapist, go see a therapist. If you need to read a bunch of relationship books, read a bunch of relationship books. But I can guarantee you the fastest way to get this handled is schedule a call with me and get you in the program. There's a reason why the program only lasts for nine weeks because uh, that's all it takes to get this turned around. You get it turned around very quickly. Ask any of my coaching clients. I have a 100% success rate in this. And I say that not to brag, but to improve press upon you that this is a solvable problem if you're willing to take the steps to do it. And this is incredibly, I don't, yeah, it's, it's a no brainer. Just schedule a call, get on the program and let's get this handled for you. And, uh, yeah, it'll be within a month or two. Anyways, I've said enough. I feel like I'm tooting my own horn too much. I need to move on. So anyways, that's it.